Good afternoon guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. I have got a Jewel Aldi and a Menards haul for you guys because Menards has some really good deals I wanted to share with you guys also. Um, so yeah, I've got a table full of stuff. It was crazy. Um, like everything we ended up getting at like Jewel especially too. It's awesome. So Jack is currently cleaning the corn because we're going to have that with dinner so it's sort of all over the place. We got five ears in total just so that depending on what's sitting on the table when I come around to it um but we got five in total like I said and um Jack's cleaning that so it might be in the <laughs> the pot by the time I'm actually um like I said over there so um between yesterday Jewel was about 75 bucks with tax um and then at all that we spent under 30 um I don't know Menards was like 50 I think or something like that but I didn't include that between Valley Produce, Caputo's, Jewel and Aldi we were at like one 20 I think we spent 120 so it was like 75 at yesterday or it was 45 yesterday 45 about at Jewel and 30 bucks at Aldi so it was like I said about in total we were around um like 120 plus like I said some stuff from um Menards as well so I'll share with you guys what I ended up getting in total for everything Jewel actually had a lot of really good deals going on there was also a bonus deal now I don't know what I bought to get this but there was um when you spent 25 dollars on select like back to school products so like i saw the cereal and granola bars maybe the peanut butter and i think these luna bars um and the danimals all were included i don't know what else that i got up to 25 dollars for but I did get the extra $5 off. When you spend $25, you got $5 off. Um, so I did, like I said, I saw some of the tags around in the store. I don't totally know what I ended up buying to get that. But there was also two freebies also included in my Jewel haul too. So like I said, there was actually a good amount of stuff that was going on. Plus they had a couple of Ibotta offers, made one item actually a moneymaker. Um, another one was super, super cheap with the deals and everything. So I'll share everything with you guys. So over here at Jewel, pretty much from the cereal and the milk, all that stuff over to here here to the pops and all of this um everything here would have cost me $140.08 I paid $43.48 and saved $96.60 I ended up getting back um you guys can see there's the corn moving around $2.85 for a net cost of $40.63 plus I think we paid like $2.02 in tax um, so we were like at 40 bucks pretty much after net cost and excluding tax. Um, but like I said, we were about 120 with tax at all the stores. So, um, to start off with the cereals. Now, I thought I had more coupons in my account, but it looks like I only got a $1 off of, I think, two, um, on the cereals. And, um, I thought I had two 50 cent, maybe I only have one coupon on the cereal, but I thought I had two coupons for the Nature Valley, um, which was 50 cents off of two. And I thought I had two of those actually in my account but only one took off it's not that big of a deal but what I could have just done was buy two cereals and two granola bars but these were actually still a really good price so it was no big deal to me um buying eight of these in total so when you bought four participating products you got them at a dollar seven or dollar four 49. I ended up buying eight products in total, so basically did the deal twice. I bought four cereals, like I said, and they were $149, but I had a dollar off two, so it was like two of them were 99 cents, and I paid a dollar forty-nine for the other ones. And then with the Nature Valley bars, these were also the same price again, same promo, but they were I had a 50 cent off to um my mix coupon, or I think they changed it to that's no, not my mix anymore. It hasn't been for a while. They changed the just for you now for to like you or something or you from jewel or something i don't know something weird <laughs> it's changed again um but the coupon the digital coupon was for 50 cents off of two so it was like two of them were like a dollar 24 and the other two i paid the regular sale price for which again is not a bad price um, so I ended up getting those. Then the corn was on sale for a dollar for five. We got five years of corn. Now the Luna bars, the um, one with the probiotic, there was a coupon for it. Was a, they're on sale for a dollar and there was 30 cents off making it 70 cents. And that was, um, there was a different coupon though just on any Luna bar. I don't know if I bought the wrong one or it just didn't apply, whatever. But um, I bought a, a single regular, not one that wasn't a probiotic and the coupon did not come off. So I don't know. Um, but there was supposed to be one on either 
either or but like I said didn't so it was no big deal but I got two of those this was free um I've had this kind of like these spinach bite sort of things from Aldi I love them they're awesome but I've never tried this brand before these were free I think maybe more normally five bucks or something like that I had a freebie coupon in my just for you account um along with these hand sanitizing wipes as well they are free and 80 counts um after um just for you coupon so those were my two freebies my jewel coupon for some weird reason did not apply for the milk again I did this deal once before and it didn't work. This time it also didn't, but they are on sale for um, our normal price, $2.99. They're supposed to be a dollar off of one coupon, which again, didn't apply. I did this before and it didn't. And like Valley Produce and Caputo's had these on sale for $1.99. So I was gonna get them there and I was like, oh no, I'll just do it at Jewel. Um, but yeah, the coupon didn't work again. So from now on, I'm just probably gonna try and avoid that deal. <laughs> um, but it was supposed to be a dollar off making it $1.99. The Gatorade um, was a customized just for you personalized price making it 49 cents and then these uh, Talking Rain Essentials these are I think on sale for a dollar 75 there is 75 cent off of two coupons also 75 cents back on one when you buy it from um when you get a rebate back from ibotta so you get you can submit for two of those so i did after the coupons after the um the uh rebate i got back it ended up being just instead of what would be three dollars for two of them 75 cents for two which is really good price like 30 something cents each the skippy peanut butter this also might have been included in like back to school sale or whatever these are on sale for 99 cents a limit of two so I grabbed two of those nectarines were on sale for 99 cents we ended up paying two dollars and 13 cents for about two and a half pounds um, or close to it something like that or 2.05 pounds um, and then the butternut uh, bread is on sale for um, 99 cents is a limit of one of the whole wheat and also one of the regular white so you can buy two loaves um, one of each so I did that and got two loaves of bread for 99 cents I think all these might be a little bit cheaper but these loaves actually are much bigger I think than all these size the red grapes are on sale a three pounds container clamshell containers on sale for 99 cents a pound but um, it's a three pound it's like uh, two dollars in 97 cents but uh, you I had a dollar off of any clamshell like grapes so um in my just for you account so that was uh a dollar 97 which is less than 99 cents a pound a five pound bag of potatoes um i had a personalized just for you price for a dollar and 39 cents and then the pizzas the um this one kind of pizza it was on sale for 5.99 and there was a two dollar off coupon making it 3.99 and the other kind of pizza was on sale for five dollars and there was a two dollar off coupon making it three bucks so a couple of extra frozen pizzas because we just just used up two yesterday got some more in there um, and then these Danimal smoothies these are on sale for $3.99 a 12 pack of Danimal smoothies and I had a dollar 75 off of the 12 count making it $2.24 um, there's also a dollar off of the six count which is on sale for $1.99 making it 99 cents however um, that coupon doesn't expire for a really long time so I didn't want to have a ton of these in the fridge um, so I just picked up the bigger 12 pack and I'll pick up the six pack again later um, and then these were the other like advertised just for you items that were going on sale items um the quaker regular like um rolled oats or whatever quick oats whatever you know the containers are on sale for 99 cents when you buy one and then the like instant ones um are on sale for 99 cents also after just for you coupon this however you get on the s'mores strawberry banana and there's a third kind um the dino eggs I think or something like that they are a dollar um you get a dollar 25 back for my bodice this is actually 25 cent money maker on that and then the drinks the Dr. Pepper and the 7 Up these are $2.99 after just for you coupon um that applies so these ones the the drinks the Quaker and the butternut stuff was all the bread was all what was advertised this week as far as like the personalized um like you know advertised sales going on then this was over at menards um these little items down in here the toilet paper water and then also this um all of these items retailed at 56.09 we paid 53.79 and saved 230 we got we'll get, be getting back 22.06 for rebates making the net cost a 31 
$7.76. Now this, which we ended up picking up this like griddle thing for the Blackstone, um, that we found some at Menards. Um, they have this and then they also have two, which we're going to get probably next time this like breakfast sort of kit kind. Um, this was, uh, I think like $19.99 or something like that. And we really need these squeezed bottles. So it came with sort of the whole kit. Um, it's like a five piece starter kit with the, um, the little spatula thingies in there and all that. Um, so we ended up picking that up. Um, excluding that though, again, the actual, cause we just saw that and was like, oh, we needed it anyway. <laughs> um, cause we haven't been able to use it yet and we keep forgetting to get it. So, um, excluding those items, the sale items, the ones I anticipated on going in and getting were only $11 and 76 cents for everything. So the paper towels and toilet paper were $3.99 after, um, like the 11% rebate. These palm olive dish soaps were completely free. I think they were a limit of six. I picked up four of them and I also picked up two of the these um, wipes, these disinfecting wipes, they're um, $2.49. However, you get $3.49 back. You actually make a dollar on each one. So um, I actually made two bucks. So I got three packages of wipes in total that I actually made $2 on between Jewel and Menards. And then also too, we ended up picking up the super glue, which I think was $1.88 or something like that, but it was free after rebate. And then the waters were on sale for $1.99. We picked up four of those. Um, and then again, like I said, with the um the the grill starter kit was um on sale or i guess not on sale but we did get the 11 percent rebate back on it too so it was like a dollar something we got back um so that was everything from menard and lastly we ended up going to jewel which like i said we ended up after tax paid 29.18 for all these items um strawberries were part of the produce picks they were 99 cents each i picked up four of those the um the cucumber was also on sale for 99 cents and then the um the mushrooms were on sale, I think also 99 cents, I want to say. Um, yes. So we picked up um, a package of those. And then we got a package of Pop-Tarts. We got spinach. I'm going to do my berry spinach salads because we also got some blueberries and we have strawberries. I picked up four things of garbanzo beans for myself. And then I told you guys too how we got the, um, the ground beef. Um, I got like three pounds last week three pounds this week but um i froze the ones i got last week i'm gonna make freezer dinners though with all of that um so i got three things of sloppy joes and three things of taco seasoning for the six pounds in total that i have right now um and then we ended up getting paper plates bananas and then also kaiser rolls for dinner tonight and then bagels and also tortillas as well so like i said not too much we really needed from jewel or from aldi so like i was telling you guys i was super upset about not being able to go to jewel last week because there were so many deals like honestly jewel was awesome i paid i saved like over a hundred dollars at jewel um pretty much between like after getting the rebate back and all that kind of stuff so i was very excited we were able to get to jewel like i said i missed out on some good deals last week but um it was sort of uh, not similar but there were again a lot of like pretty good stuff that was actually going on this week that i was like really bummed out that i didn't wasn't able to do and again stuff that we really do use too like um you know the cereal all that kind of stuff you know bread it was sort of like essential things and like also some produce stuff and all that good goodness <laughs> um and like peanut butter too like i said it's stuff that you know is normally like a pantry staple stuff that we normally have on hand anyway so to stock up and get good deals on it is always really awesome so i've got to get especially some of this cold stuff and refrigerated frozen <laughs> stuff all put away so i'm going to um like i said get all that taken care of but i'm very excited with getting all these deals from jewel it's crazy too like aldi actually was not busy almost at all because my dad was like oh they must be closing at like seven o'clock because we were there at like six or something like that and it cl doesn't close till nine o'clock but we were there was like nobody in the checkout lanes there was like no cashiers there either because it was like so like empty and i was like this is apparently the time to go and jewel wasn't even that busy either um and neither was menard so like i said i gotta get all this stuff taken care of so guys i'm gonna take a shower and get to bed um yes again i was happy with our hauls from today happy we were able to get out to the stores and so as i was telling you guys too like my dad had to work today so he was gone all day during the day um and then wasn't home until like later in the afternoon we went like around three or four o'clock i think something like that out to the grocery stores um and then we ended up um like we can't go tomorrow because we're going to my cousin's bridal shower which is going to be in the morning until like most of the day for I don't know what time it's gonna be over. But we have to leave. My mom said she wants to leave by like 9.15, which isn't that early, but I, 
oh my goodness guys had way too much caffeine yesterday i had my coffee and then and i had it late because i woke up sort of late and then i ended up having a coke with dinner which i had late also because we ended up eating late um so i was like so caffeinated at like midnight i was like okay i'm feeling tired i bet i could fall asleep i laid in bed for three hours and could not fall asleep until like 3 a.m um it was sort of ridiculous also too i don't know why but i know it's hot outside and it's very humid but it feels like a lot of the times i'm like cold in the house it feels hot like very hot in the house and it's really starting to bother me especially at night like i've been sleeping very uncomfortably because it's been very hot in the house at night not like hot like it's very comfortable but like just like i personally love to sleep when it is freezing cold like i want it to be like 60 degrees to be able to sleep like i love that <laughs> but it's like 74 i think in the house right now and um yeah i'm 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 hot and so when i'm sleeping at night i'm sleeping like under a sheet but like last night i was it, i just had a sheet on me i still couldn't fall asleep like not a comforter or anything like that and so i was like i said really uncomfortable could not sleep very well so um i think that was in part to it too plus the amount of caffeine and it's like sometimes if i'm really tired i can just fall asleep like it doesn't really bother me but when i'm not really tired and i'm also not sleeping in the proper conditions that i'm like comfortable sleeping in then i wind up staying up like and just can't fall asleep then so yeah that was my day today <laughs> um but yeah had a lot of errands that we had to run to so i think i told you guys everywhere we went to four different stores i got my pillow luckily my squishy pillow from target um which is like the down alternative pillow um and i loved it that was the one like i said i ended up getting a couple of years ago and the thing is that i like is that it's retained its fluffiness like after again like a year or two of having like a regular old pillow like just a cheap regular pillow it loses its fluff like you have to replace it i had this one like pretty much the same one from target for like i think three or four years or something like that and it was still very like fluffy like i was starting to possibly think like maybe i want to get a new one then like i said left it at the airbnb and um yeah so now i need a new one um and it, like we try to get those ones from ikea and they i actually realized i bought two different kinds of pillows one is just a regular old sort of pillow oh, the other one it does have like some sort of it's sort of like a little bit of a down alternative but it's so flat it's like not fluffy and it's not like and it's almost like not firm either i don't know it's just not the type of pillow that i've been used to sleeping on for a long time and so it's not like very comfy it's also because it's like a king though i feel like they didn't like f like it's not full enough it's very like like flat and like too like i don't know there's not a lot of like stuffing in it it feels like so like i said it was pillow was expensive it's 25 bucks guys but like i said i feel like that's worth it because even if you buy a pillow for like five dollars right you have to replace it every couple of years like i said i probably can get five years good five years out of this pillow i don't know why i'm so obsessed with my pillows but <laughs> i haven't been able to sleep too i feel like very uncomfortable that's the other reason too because i haven't had a good pillow that i've been sleeping on like honestly too guys whenever we wind up staying in a hotel i always want to bring my own pillow because i can't sleep with they're so fluffy i love them but like for most of the hotels that we've stayed at recently they're really awesome pillows but it's like they're too fluffy i can't use two but sleeping on just one and i feel like all the fluff just sort of goes around you and cradles your head but then you're actually just laying on the mattress like and i need a second one but if i have a second one then there's too much and i feel like i'm suffocating <laughs> so I'm very particular about how I, <laughs> how I need my pillows to sleep. Anyways, guys, I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of footage for tomorrow or anything to really even share with you guys. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a like a long day tomorrow because again we had to like load up the car a car already and to like go and we have to like I said be there early. Like I think it doesn't start until 11 o'clock. I think. But we have to be there. We have to leave at 9.15. I think we can't be there though for an hour ahead of time. So we can't be there until 10 o'clock. 
but we have to leave like my mom wants to leave at least 45 minutes early because I think it takes about a half an hour to get there um so she just wants to make sure like we're not late we're there as soon as we can possibly be able to get in so but I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys